So we are back here. The Italian team, Firenze, the champion from Italy here in blue and the champion from the United States, we will see in white. Yes, and trying to understand what and are they are playing this. for. So I'm back with you in a minute. We see here Boston now starting, having the ball now here. We can see here Matteo with the number 9A waiting to receiving the 19, waiting for the pass. There are two brothers playing here, both with a Colombian background. It's this number 2 and number 19. Also, is Boston is also quite nice to know, like the oldest underwater rugby club you have in the USA, the first team started playing on the World Rugby there was Boston, I guess it was like in the 70s or something like that, uh, so also super early, I was also quite surprised and uh, yeah, they're playing <coughs> several rounds in the USA, you can imagine it's quite stressful to travel all this way, bringing all these teams from East and West Coast together to play here this league round and uh, they made the championship last year. Now they're here. It's really is making a good effort. Yeah. Starting quite good. This is this is super exciting to see. You have this team from so far away. At least for US teams it's quite hard. They're just having let's say the US team yeah. themselves. They don't have this this opportunities. We are having here to traveling around. Yeah, to play all the time at yes. Playing a league round at least. So if you look on a to this, on, a, on a schedule of a German player, a quite engaged player, it's like almost every two weeks you can find their uh, uh, the rugby appointment. And now we see here great Italy opportunity now. Wow, well, there was a change at that was moment. Was it? Oh, that was a go goal. That was no, a no, goal. It was next to the goal, it was well defended, but the, the attack was super great. What is ah, the, the such a pity. Um, I couldn't recognize him. But he dropped the ball, at least he made a good attack, but he dropped the ball yeah. next to the basket. It looks like what he was dropping in, at least it did not. Both referees, they did not show that they have seen any goal, so it's going on. And now we see on the other side now here, oh, there's a big shot the basket here from the Italian player and even the hand at the wall. They need to take care about this. Our well-experienced referees here, they see everything, so... And now you see here all these players from Boston with this protection and the snorkel shows that they have a lot of people or some of them have a, like a let's say underwater hockey background. This is something you see quite often underwater hockey. We have this like protection, this white protection in front of the snorkel here to to protect the thieves. And here we see number two here, the captain yes. Gabriel Gianni. We we mentioned before Italy here just with ten players. So one player needs to, as no uh, exchange player. This is These the guys are playing in a triangular for yep. the last three positions okay. of the male. So it's go on positions 11, 12, and 13, and this is going to be between Firenze, Boston, and the Frogs from Bordeaux. Bordeaux. And now we see here Boston. It's Picard passing the. Ball. Now you see here that from the matters of speed and let uh, let's say yeah, it's speed and, and aggressivity, it's like a bit different in comparison to the to the previous matches maybe. So there's a bit more space, a bit more time, a bit more calm. Nevertheless, when it comes close to the basket, they are also quite physical. <coughs> but here, so on, the ball is a. Uh, it's coming back to the surface, it's being played a lot of the surface at the moment, even the players are having the ball. <coughs> Here's a super nice interception of number wow. number two. Yep, sorry. Oh, and this may be the best opportunity so far to score in this now. 99 who made uh. the score. USA here in a lead. The yeah. team from Boston here with yeah, sorry. the number 99, who is Stevens. John Stevens here with the 1 0 lead for Boston. Now, Italy here. 
needs to wake up. They had also a super great chance here. It was quite close here to make the first goal. And then on the other hand, it was busted here with John Stevens scoring the 1-0 in this 43rd match of this tournament. Again, Boston here in ball possession now. Swimming on the opponent side, you see here, number 12, quite physically. And we have again a lot of attack against Valentina. Valentina, she was grabbing herself to the basket <laughs> with the fingernails. <laughs> but the referees couldn't see it, so now they are diving. The Italians recover the ball, they're trying to swim a counter attack. It was a very long pass, they need to pass a little bit closer. This is Matteo Galeone with number 19 intercepting the ball, passing it, bringing the ball back to his team. Those two brothers here, Thomas Galeone with number 2 and 19, Matteo Galeone. Yeah. Super important players here, both with Colombian background. They are here, let's say, the motor of this team here, at least. Steven John scored with number 19, his number, player number 99, he made it 1 0, but the, let's the door was opened by uh, Thomas Galliano with his fast counter attack here and now it's like Italy here on it's on there they read now to, to attack the ball Let's oh see. That, yeah that's so like I hate when they grab their head yeah. from the back it can't move and it's not nice when they're coming from like on the boat and trying to, to catch the ball and then like they're touching your mask in your face and everything so Italy is coming trying to pass they are right there by the goalie but being tackled now they're on the surface right above let's see I think Boston has more players than Italy yeah so Boston has brought like 14 players on the team list so we see 14 players on the Boston team list while on the other side Italy just coming here with 10 players this is what I mean with a certain handicap they don't say yeah they don't they have so much players they always try if struggling sometimes they have a lot of players in the last years it was more difficult for them to really yeah. build up a team but now we have two minutes 30 left it was like even this match was quite equal. We have seen a super great chance here from Firenze at the beginning of this half. And then finally it was number 99, Steven, John Stevens, who scored the 1-0 in favor for Boston. Now we see here Matteo Galeano, number 19, with the second and scoring chance here, but well defended by... Uh, all of the Italian team was on him. <laughs> Valentina, yeah, but which is playing... Gabriele Gianni here again with the number two, who was the defender, and you told me that he's not very experienced, but he's still who? defended here. Ah, yeah. But, 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 Simone was on the score. Yeah, on the, on but, the goal. Um, Valentina, which is playing also for the goals, and is here playing for yeah. them. It's not in the list. They have one more, but still. So now we have a referee call. Referee is coming to the surface. Let's see what she's saying. So pointing a player, giving a warning, perhaps. Let's say like, okay, there's a free throw. This for roughing of the hitting. So both teams are divided. They want to talk to the referee. The time has stopped. There's one minute twenty. It must be a. Is it a time penalty? No. This is quite confusing. That's a time right penalty, now. yes. So oh, yeah, there's two. a time penalty. There's a player there's outside to me. Yes, probably. There are maybe two players having a time penalty for like fighting in the water. And there was Italian too. On the, on the Boston bench, and you see, because you have also seen like Birgit okay. walking to the like uh, penalty box. So they're like. Teams are divided, so at least one player from Boston has to, has to go to the penalty box. There's a two minutes suspension for one Boston player. We cannot see, but we assume also that also for Italy, there's for Firenze, there's a two minutes suspension. This is just my assumption. Let's see, we can count the players in the water right now. In a, in a couple of seconds, there are a minute and 20 to left in this first half. Let's see. And 
and this is um, one more game to go tonight. It's supposed to be starting around a nine. So let's see. This is still the first half of Firenze against Boston Narwhals. And here we go. The ball is in the middle, at least for what we know, Boston is with five in the water, so but the same those for quarter of five, and yeah. As well. So we are playing five against five right now for two minutes, because two players received a time penalty, probably for fighting here, but we are also Italy now, Firenze stealing the basket, this is quite... The ball needs to get good closer and quicker, you know, but... Oh, the ball got it lost was, now. Again, Gabriele Gianni. He yeah, has been really long time. a lot. He's staying so long on the water, staying all the time in the water. This is super hard. Nevertheless, his team is struggling to bring him the ball. He's in a good position. He's stealing the basket, but then the team is not able to use this situation, to use this advantage. And so it is still busting here. In lead with one no. zero. The basket is empty. Score! Goal for Firenze! No. Amazing! Hey. And it's such a mistake by the. Crazy! But, no, but they, this is not supposed to go because there's not yeah. uh, Untersal. No, there's not. No, no. They need to stay in the water because it's five against five. So this is, it's you know, that um, yeah. normally no. for people that don't know, okay. if one of the team has a, p a penalty time for two minutes outside, so one team is five and the other six, the moment that they get a goal, then the two minutes is, is done, and so the player can return. But in this case, because both had yeah. a player out, there's they are no playing, there's no disadvantage. So, because w the player wanted to go into the water, Manuel was yeah. running behind. And it, w it was night of Manuel to keep him, because if he wouldn't jump into the water, have a, like a well, pixel fellow. Yeah. <laughs> and so have another penalty. It's change mistake, and it's like, yeah. So this was crazy, you know, we're in the half time, so at least seconds before the half time call, mm -hmm. Italy, Italy. I don't know what Italy. happened there with Boston because they were so close, they were defending so much I, I, and the defender didn't even check yeah. that the goalie was, this is such an important thing, you know, the defenders need to keep, you know. Yeah, yeah but at least you're with check. five players in the water, so at least uh, I don't know what Matteo, because it was Mr. Uh, number 19, uh, Matteo uh, Galliano, Galliano was Galliano. sitting on the pe in the penalty yeah. box and I'm not sure if he's playing defender, attacker or goalkeeper, but it might be that he's maybe a goalkeeper. Yeah, but I think then, so too. Of course, they're also struggling and who's going out, who is uh, changing who, etc. So now there's half time. Now there's 1-1. One, one. We have seen the 1-0 scored by Boston by Stevens, John Stevens. And we have seen another score from, but from Firenze to equalize to 1-1. One, one. Unfortunately, we have not seen who scored, but uh, at least it was Firenze. That was very unexpected, that goal. Yeah, it, it, it woke me up a little nothing. bit. <laughs> I, was, I didn't say I was like, thinking, okay, that's the Italian. He's getting the ball. Yeah. Come on, oh, I mean, the basket remember? is empty. No, it's not going to happen. Goal. <laughs> it was just cheesy somehow. No, it really was a little bit like a... Yeah, well, uh, a scene of a, of a movie it was really funny. Well, anyway, like such close game. So now let's see how the second half will be. Um, yeah, tight match. It's a good time. So, few more seconds left. Forty-five seconds from seconds, the uh, half time. Yeah. Remember, we are playing here for the 11, 12, and 13 place for the male category. This is triangular between Boston, Firenze and the Brooks from Bordeaux. So we still have each uh, team has a player out. I don't know because we couldn't see it's not registered here yeah. so we don't know how much but left but I would say maybe, maybe a half seconds. a second or so. yeah, maybe 20 seconds or yeah something. something it will be not that long because we had it was like 120 left when they called the penalties or maybe 40 30 seconds something like that in the second half but both teams are starting here with five players wow and so Italy has like another kick like, like that I mean these guys are back to life <laughs> they're like there's still hope let's go for this <laughs> And Boston's are now decided to, you know, attack again. 
So five against five here for a couple of seconds and one one is the score so far. So at least we will find here a winner because oh. every match will f Oh, this was a good idea here. Passing the ball oh, down to um, Pickard, Mike Pickard, but he has not received the ball. At least he was in a very good position here. Yes, I mean, the Italians need to be very, very careful now because the Bostons are very good at attacking. I would even say they attack better than the Italians. So they need to be very, very good and not let the, the goal is alone, Raul, not Valentina, because you know how men are. Yeah. If they see a woman on the goal, right? They get crazy, they're going crazy. Yeah, because I think this is my opportunity yeah. to score. And so, let's see. Italy is trying to go past the uh, half uh, field. And now they are on the corner of Boston. But Boston needs to you know, keep them away. And now they're pushing towards their half. Well, they need to, I mean, they, they, they can't be this static. If they're this static, then yeah, they're going to yeah. commit mistakes like Maybe, that yeah. and just drop the ball, the next Italian guy recover, and now they are coming in a counter-attack. But uh, Boston's are very well in position. The captain just got or tried to get the ball. Fidenz is still in possession. And now they are coming towards the middle, going to the close side. It's one Italian guy against two or three from Boston. And no, now they one, Gabriele. Oh, that was oh, so this quick. Was it was really close. Here. Bam. This was a great pass here. And it was again Gabriele Gianni here on the open side. He's the captain who had the chance here for the 2-1. And he missed this chance, but it was super close. We see that the Italians are tired because it takes a while for them to be, you know, more than one on the water. So then now this is the chance they need to, you know, just keep everything they have and, and, and attack. Here we have uh, two and two and, well, the next Italian guy just got the ball. No, and that was one against one and, 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 and goal. goal for Firenze. I mean, fantastic thought. I mean, I'm surprised this is another team that we yeah. saw in the first match, uh, the first half. Really, it's what's really worked out. Basically, I'm not sure who scored. It was uh, something with 2023 20, or 26. It was neither uh, either Samuel Moschi or Uberto Vagelli. We are not fully Ragazzi, sure. c'è qualcuno in Italia che vede il partito qui adesso? Sai qualcosa per la squadra? Che sono felici, hanno fatto due, due um, gole. So, my Italian is not perfect, but ah. I think they understood what I said. <laughs> it is now from 1-0 behind. They scored twice and now they are 1-0 in front. Italy here is back in the game right now two super nice scores here super nice goals and let's see if Boston can catch up here and coming back as well I, now it's this, six minutes it's two one and Italy oh, okay. a great pass here from Matteo Galliano it's Tomas getting Galliano. dangerous and Italy I think it was such what a happened blind pass they saw something again. the referee saw something that's yeah. just giving advantage I and hope it's not going, going to be on, a penalty might be might be something like that and it's not in, it's not in. No, no they, they stopped. The call. I think it was it penalty or something. Oh my god, what a match. What happened? What did Kaisa say? I think it was Kaisa that, you know, she held her at the hand because, it, I mean, uh, she's going to, she's pointing Five to an Italian. Two minutes. Two minutes. There's a two minutes. Two minutes, call. a free throw for Again. Boston. This is nerve breaking. So there's now another advantage here. For Boston, <laughs> this is a crazy match now. Five minutes left. Colombo, no se estamos cambiando los dedos ya. Italy, crazy. Por favor. Crazy, crazy. This is crazy. a creamy, creamy. This is what a, This is the right terminus we can use here. All the Italians here. Boston, ragazzi, ragazze. Boston scored one goal. Crazy, crazy, crazy. 
John Stevens scored the 1 0 and then bam, bam, equalizing. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, what Boston now have really pushed out the four, and now they have um, six in the water. Yeah. Three entries in its advantage at five. Now Boston has to go with everything they have. Yeah. And they have, I think, how long? Five one. minutes? Left. Five minutes, almost. And around five minutes. I'm, I'm so time. surprised because Boston was the dominating yeah. team. They had the yeah. game pretty much in control, and Fidenza really turned the things around. So it's really. Uh, now we see here, this is match is very, very exciting to be honest. Yeah. Five minutes left. Second half, the last five minutes of the match. Two minutes, two minutes call, two minutes uh, suspension for Firenze. Firenze just with five players in the water. Boston with six players in the water. Let's see it. Where are the US fans now? Here. I mean, cheering for their team. Now they have, you know, five minutes and six players in water and five are the Italians. So, Cheer them up! <laughs> and here we Two see. are coming into attack. So let's see how the Italians this can was manage. was a bit too quick. Now there was a first pass immediately intercepted by by Firenze. It was not very well Hold done on, we by one Thomas, out. but now he got the ball back here, passing to his brother. And Gabriel is and is, is Gabriel still attacking again against. Gabriel, 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 super, <laughs> super nice. He's just. Chilling and relaxing. Penalty. There's the penalty. Penalty. No way. Penalty. Oh my I god. Am, <laughs> After the I am losing gray hair. I'm growing gray hair. Ooh. <laughs> well, like, I don't want to see. I don't want to talk. <laughs> no penalty call. Grace and timeout for Boston. Shh. Wow. This is... Crazy, crazy. Who is going? Probably um, Tomas or Mateo. I think Mateo maybe is. Mm. is Mateo will uh, execute this yeah. one and will try to score. And at least there's still a time penalty <laughs> for Firenze. <laughs> the time is oh, running God. down, but it will be then. So after the time penalty, after this penalty. This is like a final. It's <laughs> crazy, yeah. So Bastian needs to score now. And Gabriele. And Gabriele. <laughs> Gabriele is not in the water. This is a one-man show. He's doing here everything. And it's Thomas. It's Thomas Galliano. And he needs to take care not to be crap. Ah, uh, this fired. rule that of the goalkeeper that cannot leave the basket. I hate that rule. And it's so unfair. Why not? It is. It is what it is. <laughs> we need to change it. But now he is now trying to score and he is doing okay. it. Go! Equalizing! Equalizing! Yeah, Colombo! That's true, you know what I'm saying? It's more interesting than watching Langen versus Orcas yeah. Chelsea 4. It is, it is a lot of. Uh, wow, fantastic for Boston. Congratulations on that penalty. Well yeah. earned and now. Um, in relation to both teams here, they're making a super nice, exciting match. <laughs> At least Boston started crazy. John Stevens scored the 1-0. Then there was an empty net goal from uh, Italy yeah. equalizing. Second half, Italy getting in front. It was uh, Gabriele Gianni who scored 2-1. No, there was oh, another one. I was someone else. I don't know. But then, uh, this game has everything: penalty, time penalty, scores, equalizing. This is an amazing match. Two minutes 40 seconds left with this. Score, we are going to penalty shoot yeah, exactly. Let's see what it is at the end. At least each team has still the chance here to win. Yes, it's back to square one right now. It's like... Back to the scratch here now. It's like a 2-2. Two -two. Let's see. So let's see now. Italy is trying to attack and just not to risk it. And then going over the corner. And Boston now is trying to interfere and keep them away. What do you think? I mean, do you think any of these teams is rather going to penalties? No, I don't think so, right? I think penalty shooting here is a... Probably Boston might win, I think. In penalty shooting? Ah, uh, you have this one-man show here in Italy with uh, Gabriel <laughs> <Gianni. laughs> Gabriel. Also, he executed here quite well and matching. He's just stayed in the water, so 
He's like super fit, super nice stamina and his super nice performance and of course this in, in penalty shooting the individual class is much more important. It's so so super, super yes. important to be like individual yeah. good. Yep. So the team performance doesn't doesn't matter there anymore. But now let's see. Okay, now counter attack. Left and here One now. minute and a half. Firenze. Is this Gabriel again or? No, no, Firenze here. Okay. The ball got lost and got back. Quite and they're missing here. one player. Now here. This is one and oh, one and well one. Done. And then recovered by Italy. What happened? It's a call for holding without ball. In favor for Boston. And this is now what we see. The last minute in the match. Last 30 seconds. No, Boston Colombo, the t-shirt had not mandatory. It was mandatory for the um, World Championship in, in Graz, but not in general. Not for. Yeah. Oh, okay, here's a good chance now. Let's see, Matteo Galliano is running here on the open side. And here now, Picot, Mike Picot is trying to put it in the basket. The next but Italian chance, the 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 referee saw referee something, Kaiser saw something. something and is raising the hand, he was given advantage, but Again, only two minutes, time. so, two it's minutes, another time one Italian and it's going to be two minutes out, I think good. because he actually it's pushed 20, 20 a player seconds. at the goalie. Yeah. 15 seconds, 14 seconds, then Italy and has to put all of the players there. Yeah. Come on, what's going on here? Super close, super tough. The defending with all in gap. Now, in this situation, they do a cocoon it's okay, around. It's all right. He saved it. He passed the ball, and it's over. Two, two, regular time. Now we're going to aye, aye, aye. shooting. Now we have penalties. The first penalty shooting. What a match, what a match so far. We've seen super crazy performance of both teams. A good starting Boston team from the beginning with a let's say like, well deserved five point <laughs> lead. Later, I don't know what they made, but there was at least no goalie on the goal and yeah. it's just the one one by uh, pff, that was really from Italy, it didn't from I mean after the first five ten minutes it yeah. did not look like this was going to turn out like no. like this amazing game. <laughs> This is crazy. And now here then we have seen like this double time penalty. Two players were sent to the bench because they were fighting each other. Then we have seen another time penalty against Italy after they made the 2-1 lead goal. And the, equaliz the equalizing Penalties. by penalty Penalties. with the 2-2. And now this is the final result. Yeah, but, uh, we are yeah. going right now to penalty shooting so there's a short break. And then we will see one against one. God, I mean... One team is attacking <laughs> and then one team is defending. The first team which is scoring and then defending successfully is winning this game. Yes. And then it's it goes... Best of three, and no, it's a, no, it's a, a it's best one, one, best of one basis. One yeah. against one. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Nice, amazing match. Whoa. This is what we want to see here at the Champions Cup. Super close competition, super close matches, and now it seems like Italy is starting <laughs> to attack. Colombo is saying 5-4 in penalties. For whom? For Boston? For whom? Yes. I don't think it's going to be 5-4. It's just too many penalties. I think they're going so maybe now two. Here it's oh, the okay. first attacker, Firenze number 11. 11 is not on the... Oh, that he shouldn't grab oh. the, the head. He shouldn't grab the head. Maybe and it's Mattia Garafa with and number 21 and against Matteo Galeano here from Boston. And he's coming back again. 20 seconds left here. Now he got his neck. And now he's trying to score, but he's bringing him back to the surface. And he's... No. Drop Goal! <laughs> I don't Unbelievable! What a match! Cool. You can make this throw and, and, and tell you one thing, you do it in practice. Like in your pool time, you do it like 5 out of 10. And usually at a competition, you do uh, it like yeah. 2 out of 10. Yeah, yeah. And then they're here at this penalty shooting, he's just dropping from 2 meters the ball and it... Like... Uh. Like, uh, like a slow motion. It, yeah. it just drops in, there was so... Oh, right. So... 
Well executed by boss uh, by Vinny Simorra No, it's Boston turn. Let's see. Boston need to score. But it was well defended. I mean, it just um No, the, the grab Thomas. of the neck was quite Thomas hard. Gariano, the brother. Yeah. He's now against we had the Gabriel four against uh, Gabriele. This is what we have seen before. So yeah. both met in penalty shooting. This is one Thomas uh, Thomas equalized. The, he made the two-two score. Now let's see here. He's, try, he's trying to go behind the yeah. back of Gabriele, but That's Gabriele super, is being good. Super experience here. Yeah, but let's see. I mean, it's amazing what Gabriele is doing. No, Gabriele no, 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 no. is still in position. Let's see if he can hold for another 12 seconds. He can't anymore. He, I think he's trying to. Oh, this is. I don't know, he shouldn't go so far away, he... Oh! oh goal! That was second! Unbelievable! At the last second, the same like before. What the hell is going on here? Maria. Great, oh Boston! I mean, Very well done by Gabriel Yes, Gianni. both, it's like... Oh, uh, <laughs> 45 seconds with the last second, he struck the ball. I can stay quiet in my chair. The basket. It is a score. Fantastic! I mean, this, this is like... <laughs> anyway, going on. Next round. And again. <laughs> Firenze is starting. Fantastic, Boston Gabriel. La fatto benissimo, Carlo. Who's going okay. to next? Who's trying to defend you? Unbelievable. <laughs> this match is Amazing, yes. Both and I were going to be done from oh here to bed. Oh my I'm aging here. Let's okay. see here. Next one. So it's the captain of Boston, Tommy Skinner, who tries here. To oh, he's trying it. to recover the ball. He's trying to recover the ball. Now they are fighting on the ball. Let's see if he can for free. I mean, the he's, 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 he's not in ball faster. control. He's not supposed this to go. Interpretation. For I'm me, really this sure is already is going away. Going but it seems like that they're saying it is or it's not. He, normally, for people that are not um, Who's celebrating here? familiar, normally the goalkeeper cannot leave the reach of the basket if he's not fully in control of yeah. the ball. And that for me but was not, not a going to the time penalty bench, or? But normally it should be two penalty. So it's here. defended. It's defended. Number six, Tommy really? Steller defended this penalty. Yeah, his teammates okay. are cheering, so he did it. Now Boston just needs to score. You just need yeah, to just and they because it's so easy. The match. And egg. is it again? No, it's Mike Picard here with the number 31 here from Boston going to attack. And he did not score, but no! Oh. Boston is winning this match. Is it four? Let me say it. Yeah. Three, so four. four. Four, three, Colombo almost. Uh, almost. 3-4 in favor for Boston. Super nice, super tough, super That's close. That's Peter for Firenze well after such focus. a match where they can mm. turn around things. Crazy. <laughs> this is super <laughs> exciting, super <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Toast and I are like, like almost jumping in our seat. Oh, man. <laughs> I have so much That's adrenaline. So I cannot be sitting here anymore. You see what happened? Everything happened in this match. If you want like to show, explain someone. What what is there in underwater rugby? So you have time penalty, you have penalty shootings, you know, you have like a, uh, uh, everything on the leading, you can equalize, you can get in front, and there's a penalty shooting at the end. On the road. Everything was in was involved in this match. So fantastic! Just yeah. like a super nice video. Congratulations to both teams. That was really five. really fun to watch. It was a fantastic yeah. match. Crazy. Really really full of adrenaline. Yeah. So coming up is the girls of Connecticut Macos in blue and Elvetia in white and Tottenham are, are switching. So yeah, we can recover from this match.
All right. Hello um, again to the last game of day two of Champions Cup. So hello, Annika. How are you doing? Um, holding on here, and you both. Well, a little bit tired, but uh, last uh, game of the day. Tomorrow we have half.